has some kind of a nose. <laughs> the top blew off the water tower. It's been about a week. I don't know. I don't know when they're going to get it fixed. <laughs> but, you know, we're under a bull order. Well, I mean, I, hey, I ain't buying no dad burned water. Hey, I ain't going to buy no water. I ain't buying no bottles of water. The water comes out of the tap, you know. I mean, yeah. So, we're under a bull order. I've been boiling water for, for a week. Well, you know what? And then I'm thinking, you know what? I think I'm going to just boil water all the time, you know, like, yeah. I think that's a good idea. You know, I know how all y'all are uh, all around the United States. You wouldn't dare drink the water out of the tap anyway, especially Tucson. I mean, Lord, no, they, no, huh? And then there's a town over here, Greenwood, Arkansas, I mean, they got the nastiest water. It's just awful. They say, it's all, you don't drink it, but you can go ahead and bathe in it, you know, and wash your clothes in it. Well, you know. But, yeah, I think I'm going to start boiling water all the time, you know. Look at my coffee pot and my water boil. This is my coffee pot. Yeah. Uh, I think I am gonna boil water all the time, man. I mean, seriously. I mean, I keep water in a crock pot all the time, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I'm saving for a for an RV, you know, because it's gonna be nice when I'll have plumbing, you know, a sink to where I can I'll have a faucet, you know. Of course, I'll have to go and get more water and dump and stuff like this, but, you know, and I'll have a shower to where, you know, I can, yeah, you know, go to the bathroom. <laughs> but I'd save it for an RV, you know. I mean, the van is, is good, you know. It, it do in a pinch in an emergency when you know you're going to have to, you know, you can't sustain yourself. The way that you're living, you know, which is what a lot of us did. All of us did, you know. You know, I mean, you, you know, when things just ain't working out, I had a therapist told me this long, long time ago, like three times. When things ain't working out for your benefit, then you need to make alternative arrangements, you know. And I mean, Social Security rent is like, that's an oxymoron, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, all by yourself, you know, and, and what are you doing? You're just throwing your money away. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just, in my mind, that's what I was doing, throwing my money out the window, you know, I may as well just be burning it up. That's why I was like, <sighs> Cause like, it's an to me. In my mind, it's an impossible, unsustainable situation. You know, I mean, you throw in your money away. Okay, rent over. <laughs> yeah, the the top blew off of the the roof blew off of the the water tower here in this teeny tiny town of Mansfield, Arkansas, you know, and I don't know when they're going to get it fixed. Hey, there's a Sonic. I don't know if, if you know, so, the whole Sonic is shut down because you know how famous that Sonic Ice is. It's just everybody loves that Sonic Ice. Well, you know, like, hey, the whole Sonic is just shut down. They've been shut down for over a week, you know. I don't know how the other places are doing, you know, like, hey, they, they washing up the stuff with it, you know. Anyways, I digress, rant over. God bless y'all. I'm praying for y'all out there in California. You know, I told you you should have got the, out of there a long time ago. <laughs> but I know how you love your land and, and your circumstances and situations. You know, I'm praying for y'all out there. You know, God bless y'all.
It's a journey, and we're all in it together, and we're all sharing it. Share it with y'all. Love y'all. Bye-bye.